guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am so glad that you decided to click on today's video to join me for another budgie net adventure in today's video we are going to be setting up my budget by paycheck workbook by the budget mom and we are going to be setting up my excel workbook if you missed my last video of me setting up my 2025 budget planner, go ahead and check out that video. We are going to be using the information from that video to set up my budget by paycheck Excel version workbook. I am going to be using my paper planner to budget. However, I do like to use the Excel version as well because it does pre calculate all of your numbers, but I do like to write down my budget with a pen and piece of paper and I like being able to have a notebook to look back on things. So this is the first tab in the Excel budget by paycheck workbook. This is the main menu and the first thing we need to do when setting up my budget by paycheck workbook is we need to go ahead and create my budget categories. And I did go ahead and write out my budget categories to save time. These are the same categories that I wrote on my budget category organizer, except I did add three additional categories. I did go ahead and take you guys' suggestions and advice, and I added a separate pet categories, and I titled that Zoe, the name of my dog. And then I did go ahead and add a household category as well. And then the last category I added was a work slash business category. So now that I have all of my categories typed out, the next thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and give my categories a color on the Excel sheet. So my first category is housing and my housing category is silver. Let's see if they have a silver and they do have a silver. My next category is transportation. I use this cornflower blue. Then I have food. My food category is a teal color. Let's see what they, oh, let's see what this is. Good. Health and insurance is a purple color. Okay, they have a medium purple. Personal care is pink, the hot pink. Jaden, which is my son, is a blue. See, they have a light blue, so we'll go ahead and use that one. Entertainment slash leisure is a teal color. Entertainment slash leisure is a turquoise color. It's a pale turquoise. Let's see if they have a darker one. Let's use that color. Miscellaneous is a gold yellowish color they have a gold zoe my dog i'm gonna give her a light pink color household i usually used a tan for you let's see khaki don't really like that one We'll do household tan. And then my last category, work slash business. We'll do it like a light purple. And they have a plum. So here are all my categories and the colors that I will use to track each category. And then my debt, my debt color is going to be a red. And then that is it i'm just going to go ahead and keep my earn income white my other income white and my transfer white and then saving deposit saving inflow and saving spent um, i'm gonna have to think about a color that i'm going to use i love that on the excel version it has these little um, hints that you can take and it tells you what each category means so for like the earned income you use this category when you receive your normal w-2 paycheck from your employer earned income includes all taxable income and wages you get from working for someone else yourself or from a business you own and then it defines other income you use this category when you receive income outside of your employment this can be from selling things online money you receive as a gift child support alimony refunds or reimbursements 
So it's nice to have those little cheat notes. Okay, so we went ahead and set up my budget categories. Now let's go ahead and set up um, goals. It allows you to track three different goals. The main goal that I am going to track is my goal that I listed in my video was to save $10,000. So I'm just gonna put that, save $10,000. And I'm going to put amount already saved as zero. The target date is 12-31-2025. And then I'm just going to give it, it says goal title, enter a brief name for your goal. You'll be able to select this goal title on the expense tracker worksheet when you want to add to your goal and track your progress on the dashboard chart. So let's just go ahead and put 10K. So we have everything filled out on the first tab, the main menu tab. The next tab is dashboard charts. And then on this dashboard, it's going to keep track of my monthly spending for each category. And then it's also going to keep track of my saving balance, my debt balance, my retirement balance, my net worth, total assets, total liabilities, monthly income, and then budget versus actual spending and i really like having the excel version because as i'm entering information on my tracker it's going to pre-populate this form and then each month you get a budget calendar and then on the budget calendar you fill out the budget calendar of all your due dates you can put reminders and events so January 1st is my son's birthday. So I'm going to put um, Jaden's birthday. And then I only get paid once a month, so I don't have multiple checks. But if you did, and then this is a, I guess I could consider his birthday a holiday. Okay. And then the next sheet is your paycheck budget tracker. And here you go ahead and list your fixed expenses. So I'm gonna go ahead and list those. That way when I am adding my other months, I can just copy it before the dates are. So I have my mortgage, HOA, SDG&E, my cell phone, internet, USAA, epidemic sound, my puppy insurance, my son's piano lessons, Orange Theory, my gym membership. Coombers, a local winery. American Funds, who I invest with. Apple, which is for my Apple Watch, I believe. Um, personal Loan. Audible, iCloud. WW subscription, Cinch, which is my home warranty. I have an Oura Ring subscription. I have a monthly car wash subscription. And then my personal loan too. So that is a list of all of my fixed expenses. Mortgage, HOA, SDG, &E, cell phone, entertainment, USAA, epidemic sound, puppy insurance, piano, orange theory, Coombers, American funds, Apple, personal loan one, Audible, iCloud, WW, Cinch, Oura Ring, car wash, personal loan. So now I'm just going to go ahead and copy these. 
and see if I can put those on the rest of my so February I'm just going to do this just to save time that way I don't have to do this and with Excel it's really not meant for you to copy and paste because the numbers sometimes get maxed, messed up but since I'm just doing the titles I think it should be fine March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October, November, and the one more we just got need to do December. Perfect. So I have all of my categories down. So then now each month I'll just have to go in and fill in the due dates and the budgeted amount. So Going back to the month, the very first thing you get every month is a budget calendar and you can go ahead and list your paychecks. And then you get paycheck budget and you get five of these, I believe. And then you get expense trackers for you to track your spending and you get one, two, three, four, five. Five for you to track. So the first one is to track your cash spending and then your checking account. And then I'm gonna put my savings account And then I will put my summer saver. Okay, so those are the accounts that I will be tracking. And then it has your debt payoff plan. So when creating a debt payoff plan, you have to list your total debt. And you'll list the creditor enter the creditor for each of your debts, and then you're gonna enter the balance or the amount of debt you owe per creditor. And then you're gonna enter the interest rate, your minimum payment, and then lastly, you're gonna enter the order. Starting with one, enter the priority order, one being your highest priority. And then as you are listing your debt, you're going to put your total and then it's gonna let you know what percentage of category to debt. And then it's gonna keep track of your saving goals and your investment accounts. Then here's the net worth tracker and you go ahead and list all of your assets and then your liabilities. And then it's going to compare last month's versus this month. And then it has your budget breakdown. It's going to have your starting balance, income, your earned income, your other income, savings used, total monthly flow. And then it's going to have next month's starting balance and then monthly inflow change. And then last month's total monthly inflow. And then here it's going to have all of your categories, your monthly budget, your monthly spent, the difference, and then the percent of the info. And then it's going to compare um, your last month, monthly spent, percent of info, and then the change. So I'm really excited to use this form to track my spending. And then there are all of those forms for each month. So that is a look at her 
budget by paycheck Excel version. Um, if you're interested in her Excel budget by paycheck workbook, you can get it from her building blocks course. It is a course that you take and then it comes with the Excel version or Google Sheets version of the budget by paycheck workbook. I actually found the building box course to be very helpful. It walks you through everything and it's a lot more detailed than some of the videos on her YouTube channel and even um, more detailed from her book. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. I would love to have you become a part of the Budget Squad. In the comment section, let me know, are you a digital budgeter or do you prefer to budget with a pen and piece of paper? And then also let me know if you would like to see me budgeting digitally, or if you would like to see me budgeting in my physical workbook, or if you would like to see both, I definitely would love to hear your feedback. Well, I hope you have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps up my channel and I truly appreciate your support. Mm -hmm.